PC WizKid here with the brand new Firefox 29, redesigned somewhat for your pleasure in browsing on the net. And here I have version 28 and I did an automatic upgrade. Of course, if you don't have 28, you can just download it and install it to your desires to uh, the way you want. And uh, of course, what's new? Well, apart from uh, the snappier, more quicker response that I've noticed, it does have some GUI, some design changes. Very nice. I do like the customization and um, the ability to put things where you want it to appear. So let's take a close look at that because that's really what stands out to me. Here it is, version 29, right off the bat. On the top right corner, you get the menu with your private mode, your history, print, all of that, access to your add-ons. Uh, developer mode, all of that in one spot. But the key thing right below that, you can see where you can customize things. Now that becomes enabled so you can drag and drop and move things around. And that's where the power of this new version uh, excels. So for example, I want things that I find of higher priority to appear in this menu. I can drag and drop them in here, such as add-ons. I can remove things from, from showing that I'd never use, for example and uh, set it up the way I like that menu, okay? Also, on the top here where you have your download, your bookmarks and add-ons, you can move those. You can move those and customize that menu bar better than before. So again, click on Customize to enable that and then move, uh, drag and drop basically what you want. So I want the Home button, for example, to be on the uh, left side, okay? My, my Home uh, button for the default page. I want the add-on for the add-on the ad blocker to also appear on the uh, left hand side so there you have it now on the right hand side I dragged over the bookmarks and the history to the middle there and the download arrow also to the middle so the only thing I have left now on the right is just the uh, menu okay it's the options menu so now on the options menu you know you have what you want by the way the uh, help is right there also in case you're wondering and uh, interesting uh, they've added a little shutdown button or an exit Firefox button. Okay, right there beside that. So there you have it. That gives you a good idea on the customization of it. If you're using the sync feature, you can access that there too to synchronize your web browser settings on the cloud. I really don't use that, but there it is if you wanted to. And uh, when it comes to uh, add-ons, they're still there, accessible. I didn't find any problems. I did find an increase in performance when I ran the Peacekeeper benchmarks compared to the previous version, and I'll add the link below if you're interested in the uh, benchmark uh, results from before and now, because definitely I do find it faster, and I did upgrade, keeping everything intact, and I definitely am finding a benefit in this version 29 that they just came out with. Are you going to be upgrading? Comment below, let me know what you think, and again, thank you for watching.